Hi, this is uh, Oz from Expert Sleepers at Superbooth 17 talking to Analog Zone um, about what's new. I have a few things to show, uh, a couple of things mostly you know about and then something completely new. First thing I'll mention, the FH1, the USB MIDI host module, recently acquired an arpeggiator mode. Um, everybody knows what an arpeggiator is like, but now you have one in the module there. A whole bunch of different arpeggiation modes. So, if you like arpeggiators, that's now there and for free in the FH1's MIDI CV conversion. Um, next thing to mention, the Disting Mark IV, which I announced at NAM in January, is now shipping, started shipping about three weeks ago. There's a feature that I didn't show at NAM because I didn't quite have the software ready. This isn't a new version of the Mark IV I'll be uh, keen to emphasize. Everybody who's already got the Mark IV already has this, they just don't know it yet. Uh, the new Disting has a pair of MIDI ports uh, on a breakout on the back of the board. So just by connecting up a couple of cables, um, I'm using a little thing I made here, you get MIDI in and out of the Disting. So you can use that to control the parameters on the Disting, to do MIDI to CV conversion, to do CV to MIDI conversion. This one here is connected to this core Volker here. Uh, I've got a sequence coming from this Disting into the CV to MIDI on the, uh, on the Volker. Um, other things that already exist have had MIDI added to them, so for example the quantizer on the disting now also has a MIDI output, so as it quantizes the note and generates the quantize CV, it generates the MIDI note that corresponds to that. So there's some potential there I'm sure, um, and details of that MIDI connection are going to be made available as, straight after the show so people can uh, start hooking up MIDI to the disting. Uh, the thing I have that is new um, since NAM. This thing here, which is clearly a prototype um, in a very unfinished state, it's called the General CV. This is a general MIDI sound set under CV control. Um, so the whole slew of general MIDI that everybody knows and loves, now under CV control. So if I just turn that up, um, which of course I unplugged because I was doing that, so let me just plug that back in. <coughs> Bear with me. Put that one in there. Put that one in there. So there we go. A general MIDI or breath sound. Go through some different sounds. Yeah. Everybody loves an orchestral hit. So the, the idea is to take this um, beyond just triggering general MIDI sounds and allow you to completely abuse uh, the general MIDI and have this as a sound source, a bit like a VCO that you can just use. So if I put that sound back again, um, turn that up, putting some slew on the CV um, that's going into it. See if I'm just bending it all over the place. And you can have lots of fun with this. Um, or the whole general MIDI drum set is there, for example. So you can sequence up some nice general MIDI drum patterns, but this is great for abuse. If you take the trigger, you can go absolutely mad with it. Just put that in there. And because there's a very tight coupling between my CV conversion and the general MIDI chip I'm using, Things can go up to audio rates, um, so for example these drums, you basically end up with a kind of wavetable oscillator based on general MIDI drums. You put that in there. You get the idea. So th the idea is to basically, as I say, add more inputs and knobs to this so it becomes a, a sound source like a VCO. You don't have to worry about what you're doing to general MIDI, just that this will expose that big synthesis power you get from these chips uh, and make it a lot of fun to use and abuse and make some wonderful sounds. And if you want the shakuhachi, it'll do it. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for um, Super Booth this year. Thanks for talking to me.